Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Mecha Will Plays Horizon Zero Dawn. We're here streaming on twitch.tv slash Mecha Will. But enough plugs and enough about me. It's time to jump our way around the old castle here and see uh, see what's been going on. I could have sworn that that was the ladder I was supposed to climb, but apparently uh, I'm completely lost in my ways here. So, uh, yeah, this will be our last little segment for today. If you're watching and you're like, hey, why does that dude... Just wear the same shirt every day he <laughs> uploads a video. You know, I, I'm just doing these in batch uploads. It, it helps me keep the story fresh in my mind. Now, as I say that, I took a break for like two minutes and I don't remember what I'm doing right now. I think I'm trying to find this big boy that I'm at right here. Let's watch a cutscene. Let's see what's going on. This is my first playthrough if you're joining us. Good. Fine. That'll be quick. This. She looks so distraught. This is amazing. Aloy, this is not the time. Oh my god. It's a metal devil. Open the module's casing now. Aloy, do as I say or all is lost. Okay, don't pressure me, brother. It's, it's the peer pressure moves aren't going to work out. Uh oh. Okay. Hello, Hades. Just stopping by your, your place of rest. Hope you don't mind. Entity has come here. You no, know, I came in unannounced. You don't have to hit me with the scary voice, though. Entity miscalculated. What is happening? Entity cannot destroy me. I am beyond its reach. You seem pretty confident for yourself. I'm just, Maybe listen, just pay no attention to me. But this isn't. That was it that easy you just hit him in the old carbon fiber destroy the entity bro we're on hdmi 2.1 now your tech is outdated i all i have to do is hit you into the uh, in the little i guess the tall neck juice and, and he's gone all right this is very perilous i'm sure we're gonna have to hit an action button here no never mind the cinematic approach it is She loves hanging on by one hand like that. Y'all see that new Forbidden West trailer? I mean, the, not the, the, the one that came out. She loves doing it. Oh, okay, all right, I, I understand. <laughs> Time is up the S. She could have told me that a little bit earlier. Lance. No way. Uh, yeah, okay, sure. sure. Yeah, you think? Don't think, just act. I've played Uncharted, I know how to doing? do this. Taking a nap? Just run and press X. Whoa! See what I mean? It never fails you. Excuse me. They've always got a hidden ledge somewhere. Okay. Just drink a, a can of Red Bull, you fool. Excuse me. Almost there. Have you ever had you me? 19 gunmen training their sights on you? And a couple of bald dudes coming after you with some weirdo face masks? Ah! I think I was on like a Slipknot world tour. Get out of here. Get out. I refuse. Don't fight, run. Understood, okay. No, I, of course. Why would I take down the enemies that I Come on. for breakfast? Got it. Very conveniently placed. I'll take it, excuse me, sir. Apparently I'm late to the office. I don't have time to mess around. As much as I wish that. You know Watch out, there's more ahead. Just saying. Just a pro tip. Somebody's in a unique situation like this, okay? Sight. And the adrenaline's so pumping. Out. You know, know, a calm voice goes a long way. Silence. I feel like I went the wrong way here. Whoa! No, 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 this is the right way. It's the right way. Don't be a fool. Can I come from this way? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm losing my mind. Please. Send me to the to the shadow realm. Whoops. We'll rewind the clock back on that one. I'll figure out where to go. Just press X. You survived, Mr. Cheesnip. The amount of times you uh you point a uh, digital gun at your head, I'm pretty impressed. Pretty uh, What? Okay. Did they just put me back? Okay, cool. I was like, did they just like take pity on me and, and put me like a head in the game? That would have been hilarious. Are no. you kidding me? Head left towards the camp. Okay, all right. Maybe I actually Got pay it. attention. Almost there. Yep. Easy. Yeah, 
I know. As I said before, guys, I gotta get in. It's an early work day. More eclipse ahead. More eclipse ahead, I understand. Total eclipse of the heart. That's the way out. Oh, this way. Wait, you fool. I thought it was a thing where you go down and you and you ride the lightning, but apparently not. It's on the bridge. Thanks, Mr. Cheesenip. Eyes of a hawk, eyes of an eagle. I'll be getting there. The second one, that's just for fun. The third one, get ready for the most cinematic interpretation of gameplay you've ever seen in your He's goddamn coming. life. Come on. No fight. Keep moving. See that? Didn't expect that. Didn't expect me to do a, a, a 180 flip over their heads, did you? What? Head left towards the camp. Got it. Almost out of it. You go straight up the center of the ramp yeah, and you say, I noticed. I'm gonna do a nolly kick flip Tony Hawk pro skater move here. You just gotta be there to know what that is. Alright, now what do I do? Repel. Incredible. Look at that. Didn't I tell you to be cinematic? She'll be, she'll be fine. Don't worry about that. She'll be alright. She could swim, right? Yeah. I'm gonna apologize for dressing you up in that incredibly uh, beefy armor. You're gonna be wet for days. Okay. I guess it's that easy to get away from uh, from Hades himself. Itself. I still don't totally understand what the heck is going on, but I'm enjoying the ride. Here's, here's where we get chewed out by Rough Grandma. Going, but you survived. You knew Hades was there, and oh, you no, sent me to him. this is where we him. stand up to, to Grandma. I won't deny I risked your life, but it was the only way. Sure, sure. Now, with the focus network down, we can both get what we want. Yes, that's the apology Access I get. Access to the secrets of Zero Dawn. I'm past trusting you with secrets. Yeah. Good. That means you're wising up. That was all part of my plan Trust to make you mistrust me with the, all the vengeance and anger in your eyes. Like sand, a poor foundation for any partnership. Uh -oh. But mutual self-interest. Now that is a solid bedrock upon which you and I might build a new science of understanding. Yeah. We both need answers. Let's in live in the science of uh, selfishness. You, we're on the verge of grasping them. At Sunfall, we'll speak again. At Sunfall, I know that's a place, but it's kind of hilarious. It reminds me of. Damn him. It reminds me that I always mess up like sun, sunset, sunrise. I'm always calling it the exact if opposite I thing. Focus, I don't think I'd last a day in this world. Right. Oh, we got a trophy. You love to see it. Those little... I don't know who the sound designer is on those things, but they, they basically like complete my world every time I hear one of those little twings. It is good. It makes me feel like I've uh, really accomplished something. Come on. Did I... What? Invisible machines. I did not know that was the thing. Come at me, young. I've been dying to test out my aim. Come on. Apparently, you've been dying to test out yours, too. Excuse me. Dude, I didn't even know these existed. The technology is out of control. New machine to stock. Did you see that? I don't know about that one. I don't, somebody's got to roll the tape back on that one. I'm pretty sure I was at full health there. I've learned my lesson. I understand, okay? Time to be light on your feet. Start getting the veggie delight at Subway and, and, uh, and, and sneak your way. Sneak your way through. Actually, I think we just finished our uh, our quest, didn't we? Why don't we take a look? Let's let's recalibrate what we're doing and all that. If you're joining, thanks for joining. Welcome in. We're playing some dope stuff, as you can see from the screen. Um, cool. So the main quest here: deep secrets of the earth. It says we're it says we're a good level to start it. I 
suspect they're being a little, uh, they're being a little, a little bit, uh, untruthful. Lost the word there for a second. But, uh, we can try it out. Bunch of side quests. Eventually, I think what I want to do is try this DLC, because I hear it's real good. Um, but clearly that's a little bit out of our grasp. And the rest, maybe on my own time, or, or if you guys really are like, man, I need, I need to see some fetch quests. I'll, I'll, I'll fetch things all day and all night for you, if that's what you guys want. Uh, that would be like this stuff, I think, right? Bandit camps. Fall necks. Might be cool to, to do a couple of those. Um... Zones. What's the cauldrons? Y'all know where to get some good cauldrons, though. I think those are like the facilities, right? Where you can, um, see if we can find one on here, maybe. Totally cleared this part of the map. That's a great feeling. Oh my god, Mr. Cheesin. You got a head of steel and a heart of gold. Don't let them take it from you. Uh, I guess we could fast travel. Y'all want to fast travel? Did I get my, uh, speaking of, did I get my unlimited fast travel thing? That's a negative. I don't think I did. We're still on the lookout for that stuff. That's definitely uh, on the list. In fact, yeah, we don't have many of these left, so... Oh no. Goodbye, Mr. Cheesnip. It was nice having you while it lasted. If y'all want to commit suicide in my chat, feel free. There's a couple of commands out there for it. Apparently, we got a real gambler in the house right now. Um, let's continue this main quest line. There's no reason not to. It has nothing to do with the fact that I've got quite a few games that I need to finish, but uh, yeah. Corrupted zone. Level 23. One. We'll get to that later. Cares about that. Let it let it corrupt itself for a little bit. Hey, they might learn a couple life lessons and uh, and then we'll teach them. I'm the fast travel. If we can get that fast travel like bundle. I'll be all. I'll, I'll go all over the place. But until then, I think we got to keep our eyes on the prize, as they say. Hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. If you are watching on YouTube, you got to be like 20 or 30 episodes in at this point. 20 episodes maybe. So thanks for sticking in. It's been cool. I remember there was one episode where I completely misnamed it because I thought it was a different episode, I think, and then I, the footage was the wrong footage, so that had a couple of downvotes, and I understand that. I do. But, uh, beyond that, hey, we're having a good time. We're playing the series. If you missed it, as, uh, I just said, there's, uh, there's some YouTube, uh, uploads of, of everything we did from, from day one onwards, playing blind. Mr. Cheesnip, what are you doing? He's playing around in the chat. He loves looking at the commands. Uh, yeah. Just chill out next to the spawn point. These guys play Call of Duty. You know it. Get out of here. Nobody asked you. I forget what these... I'm just, like, throwing stuff at them just to see what sticks. I think I've done it, though. Whoa! Okay, nope. Whoa, boy. Chill out there. For a second. First of all, I, did you see those dodging skills? I never thought I'd be that good though. Okay, that. Had a lot of fun. Thanks for the, uh, thanks for the rough housing. Oh my god. Align with the stars and seek the guidance of the love meter. I don't even know what's happening over there. Enjoy yourself though. Um... Cool. So, uh, yeah, we're not going to do that, that tall neck. Let's, let's move this way. While we're at it, yeah, let's just craft a couple of these bad boys. I'm sorry, uh, Mr. Cheese. If the stars were not aligned for you, let's, uh, yeah. We're, we're running definitely a little bit low on, uh, on Blaze. Oh, no. The love matchup. It's not even Valentine's Day. You're, you're, uh, you're getting a little ahead of yourself in, in, in terms of the love season here. Best part of the game are these little slides, dude. I never used to slide. Here I am. Sliding like an absolute pro. 
we're almost to the uh, to the next quest. So we're just gonna, I guess, do the quests until we can't do the quests no more. I haven't, thankfully, haven't run into like, you know, a hard spot like I did a little earlier in the game. You guys may recall beating our head against a brick wall for three episodes. Campfire discovered. Love to see it. What's going on, dudes? Hello. Love the hairpiece. Love to have one of those weapons, too. I think I... Yeah, mine's just like a stick. If I could just have, like, a little halberd attachment, I'd be feeling good. We'll, we'll save it for the Christmas present, okay? Call you guys later. Sunfall. Don't even pay attention. The mad king it hurts. Summer Palace. A bulwark of Cardia might against the howling forbidden west. Ad King for history lesson. Who are all these people? But they have no idea what lies beneath. We will learn much from this Aloy. Hello. You guys want to party? I will greet you. No problem. If you just consider going out uh, between the hours of 7 a.m. and 6 p.m., you may find yourself in a more positive position but I, you live your life the way that you want to my friend if you want to live in the shadows i'm not going to stop you there's 44 percent love between you and a robo rainbow i don't understand what's happening over there you asked me if it works with other emotes i think it does i don't know you, you ask me how this shit works i have no idea i'm just i'm, a, I'm as along for the ride as you are uh I just, I just put tools in the chat, and you guys enjoy them. Have fun. It's not my job to learn the technology. Just to distribute it. Ya, ya, yeet. Okay. If you can't trust Hello, my friends. Who can you trust? Some impressive body armor you have. So we're in, like, the Sun Temple Palace region area. Which I think is, uh, there's a couple of bad boys here. I think the main dude that we're against is, uh... Part of this but there it's a peaceful kingdom and uh i think we're cool i don't think there's anything we need to buy either maps special mod box that's a ripoff by the way you all seeing this one metal shard away this guy makes his entire living off of, you know, bartering. You're telling me he's not going to give me a special discount just because I don't have one of those little Dorito pieces? I find that very hard to believe. We're going to, uh, we're going to find our way. I'm hoping to see some of these guys carry, like, those fast travel packs. So I'm looking for those unlimited fast travels. Once we got one of those bad boys, like I said, we, we, don't, we don't have anything we need to worry about. Also, cutscene. We've got some real harrowing things happen. Is this like a gladiator matchup? Is that what's happening? Uh-oh. My dude's uh, throwing the, the MOBA uh, special moves at him. He can't do anything about it. All right, we're, are we gonna, we're gonna fight in this arena. I'm calling it. Now we get to see if your attack on their focus network was entirely successful. Excuse me, sir. Apparently I attacked your network, and uh, I'm still allowed to uh, freely success. walk around. Welcome to the Citadel, Aloy. I'll check back with you in a moment. Yeah, like you got Easy better time. things to do, apparently. Enjoy your little rest. I'm just trying to save the world, or whatever. It's cool. We're not in a rush. Outlanders, if you want to hear about today's bounties, head for the throne room. That guy sounds like a bad guy. You're not going to make any shards by standing out here. Filthy mercenary bottom feeders. Wow. Don't bother me, Outlander. All the bounties are announced in the throne room. Excuse me. Can it get any worse? What did you say in your little Kermit the Frog voice? You tell me you asking for trouble? One arrow right through the tip of your freaking dome. I'm gonna send you flying. Let's try this again. Don't bother me, Outlander. All the bounties are announced in the throne room. You asked for it, brother. Ah. 
Alright, he's dead in my in my eyes. In my opinion. Let's move along. Excuse me. That guy will rule the day that he met me when he has to peel those little arrowheads out of his skull. Take him at his word. Who's that? Who's that guy in the top left? Oh By my the god! Glory of the sun oh, revealed. We heard about Behold, Bahamas. Radiant Edaman, the one true Sun King, the light in shadow, whose will is light and whose light is law. Sure. I command Lucian Bahavas to speak in that's my behalf. The, that's the king. A man's By the a will little, of Radiant Edaman does the sun glare down mercilessly upon the traitor Uthid. Uh oh. To the hunter who brings his head to us shall go a bounty of 500 shards. More prisoners than royalty, don't you think? Wow. Hmm. Love your hair. Vanasha. It's a named character. You and I need to chat, little huntress. Sure. The green tent down in Shadowside. I'll be waiting. Sounds good to me. You didn't have any business here? You came up just on the chance that I'd be around? Yeah, don't leave. We both know you're no killer for hire. Uthid is innocent. So he was just waiting around all day. While there's still time to save him. You love to see what these NPCs are doing so, beforehand. You know, spoke of his flipping some coins in the bank. You've got to be kidding. Not at all. And you needn't worry about the Kestrels. They'll be too busy acting important to pay attention to you. First time in the Citadel. Got to see. The all right. So I, I don't know. I guess. Yeah. I guess these are all bad dudes. And we're here just, uh, want us to see this I don't know, boy. enjoying their time, I guess. It makes quite an impression. Let's, uh, let's take this as far as we can. We're getting close to the end of the stream today. If you've been enjoying it, hardly. thank you very much for watching and all that. You underestimate the ease of hiding in plain sight. Uh, okay. Your balustrade. It's a short drop from there. Slaughter. Okay. This is the place to do it. Cool. I don't like it. You just want me to jump to my uh to my you death. Worry me, boy. Oh no, I see it. I see the line here. You ready for some Tony Hawk? Uh excuse me. That was a big mistake. I could just uh if I could just get back up, that would be that'd be nice. Please? Sure. <laughs> Thank you. Did you not? <laughs> they're seriously not gonna let me up. We out here on our own, boys. I guess. Uh, I guess we'll just go this way. The other side of the tower. Look for a vent. Oh, cool. I see Shortcut. you've been here before. Obviously. No. It's very important that you hear what I'm about to say. I've shown you the way in, but this humble vent marks a point of no return. Are we getting any close to the end Before of the game? Before you descend into the depths here, you should be fully committed, equipped, and focused. No distractions. If you have errands to run, do them first or hold your peace. Wow, okay. I won't tolerate whining. Is that clear? This is the moment of the game. This is, uh... I give you silence. I didn't ask you along for the ride. Wow, okay, cool. So that is interesting because uh, it's basically telling us, hey, buddy, don't be a moron. You want to finish some side quests or something before the end of the game? Go ahead and do that before you do. This is a very common thing. So now I'm kind of excited because I didn't realize I was that close to, uh, to doing that. By the way, move this up here while we're at it. Uh, hmm. That's interesting because what I'd like to do, what I'd like to do is go find a campfire, which I do see right there, but it is back up there, and make a separate save in case this really does lock me out of like figuring out anything else after the game happens. If anybody in the chat knows if this is the, uh, if the game doesn't let you go any farther um, after the game, after the story ends, let me know. Uh, yeah. Okay. 
it seems pointless. So, yeah, if I can make that separate save, we're going to be real happy. What is happening here? Is there none? <laughs> Why didn't they not just put a ladder? Please. Um, excuse me, sir. It wouldn't be authentic because, of course, they didn't have ladders back then. Ah! They won't even let me jump up there. All right, I guess I, I guess I'm just going inside. We don't even really have much of anything. He said, make sure that you're uh, fully equipped. We've got like zero health. At least we've got some grenades. All right, guys, we're pro gamers. We can do this. I'm, I'm sure they let you, you know, sort of collect stuff outside of the game uh, once you're done with the campaign or whatever. There's no way they I'm heading down. It's a modern video. I've spent a lifetime trying to uncover the secrets of this world. Where the machines came from. How the old ones achieved such marvels only to fall into silence and death. Okay. A lifetime of failure. As year by year, decade after decade, I hit walls I could not break, doors I could never breach. Hello. Until a Nora Huntress marched out of the savage east. And voila. You talking about me, bro? All the deepest secrets of the earth were laid bare. Who's he talking I suspect about? you will have an easier time with this door than I did years ago. Wow. Hold for identity. This feels very end of the game. There's gonna be a, a couple of boss fights, I'm sure. Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Malfunction. Malfunction. I didn't I didn't allow you Malfunction. to access my genetic profile. Are you kidding me? You don't hear me laughing. What year is this? Shut up. There's gotta be another way. Hey! Elizabeth Sobek here! Requesting access! Access request acknowledged. Root command functions available. Do you wish to proceed? Yeah! I do! Get me through this door! Analyzing. Primary <laughs> access inoperable due to mechanical failure. Ah. Emergency venting procedure likely to circumvent blockage. Do you wish to proceed? Yes. Emergency venting authorized. Cool! Alright, so, you know. I guess we have the genetics of a of a dead scientist that allows us to open a, a nice metal door. Complete with an AC. Bent me, Daddy. Okay. Guess you can't have everything. That will draw attention. We won't have this place to ourselves for long now. We? Last I checked, I was the one whisking my life down here. Yes, fine. Now will you please get moving? There's so much to learn in less time than I'd hoped. Understood. All right, things are getting incredibly exciting here. We're explore the project Zero Dawn facility. Are you kidding me though? Uh, this is this is this feels like the end of the game. So. Welcome to Project Zero Dawn. Zero Dawn. We found it. Are you really so surprised? Facility diagnostics detect multiple it's gonna, failures. It's gonna peek ahead. Attempting right? repair. So, what was this room? An entrance hall, perhaps. Have a look around. Just an educated guess, but it must have been uh, coffee room meeting B. Um, you know, they held meetings and stuff here. I mean, I assume maybe. You know, I don't have all the details, but uh, you know, there might have been a Starbucks right to the left of the of the gift shop. Okay. All right. So I I was gonna stop for a second because um, we're getting, like I said, it looks like we're getting close to the end of the game. So maybe one more stream might knock this knock this game out. But before we do that, let's go through some of this lore stuff we got here um, and try and not forget it by the time something happens. Some of it's going to be read stuff. Some of it's going to be audio, hopefully. The audio is much more compelling for people watching on Twitch, I'm sure. But uh, yeah, let's try and see if we can wrap our heads around what the heck is happening here. Uh, from the lounge staff to the admin, there was another incident. This morning's unfortunate incident with Dr. Popovich is another example of reception's need for additional support. We appreciate that Zero Dawn is immensely complicated, but the staff who serve on the front line are tired of being neglected. As we have requested, we need human translators, fluent in Polish, CG Project Red, come at me. Uh, for example, security staff who can subdue enraged embryologists. What? 
and dermal sedatives to calm persons who are screaming in Polish while hurling chairs and bases at reception, for example. Wow, okay. Sounds like a fun uh, orthodontic trip. Most of the candidates are reasonably calm and well-behaved, but we need help handling exceptions to that rule. Please respond. Patience. This seems like some, some like, messed up, you know, human and sacrifice stuff going on. Or like they, uh, you know, they've been, uh, like, experimenting on people. Maybe they're creating the Terminator. Who knows at this point? But we're about to find out Can't some pretty juicy that. details. They gave us health, which is a bad sign. Please take a seat and wait for your name to be called. So zero, the yeah, zero, zero Dawn seems like a facility where they brought in Smaller. patients. Maybe they were searching for something in the genetic line that would kill the big beasties. But, uh, yeah, I knew there was going to be some dialogue here, so let's read up. Restock or else. Uh, for the fifth time, please restock the lounge of selection of herbal teas. I need my ginseng. If I have to listen to one more egghead, throw a tantrum because we're out of the organic cucumber mint or blackberry sage varietals. Egghead. They're shaving the, the, the dudes. Um, I'm going to lose it. Please respond. And this time, no tempest in a teapot or steep demand jokes. Okay. The writers had a good laugh at that one. Okay. This is just a list of complaints. I love reading them. Soundproofing would be possible to improve the soundproofing between VR1 and the lounge area. Most of the cameras stay quiet during the presentation, but the ones who scream or sob can be heard by candidates waiting their turn in the lounge. It sounds like a like a, a camp, a bad camp, <laughs> where they concentrate people in a spot. This is not good. I don't know what this place is, but this definitely seems pretty horrible. It looks like they get a briefing about what's going to happen to them or what they're looking for or why they're here or you know, that the world is destroyed or something like that. And, uh, and some people aren't having it, for sure. Please proceed into viewing room one for an important message regarding the purpose of your visit. What? What was this place? Yeah, I'm, I'm, oh, I'm with you right now. CD01 data intact. Okay. We're about to see the present. Initiating playback. Time to peel your eyeballs open, okay? Aloy is doing a good job of that. Welcome already. to Project Zero Dawn. I am General I Harris, for a second. Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff of the United States of America. I'm Something sure you've like heard the rumors that Zero Dawn is a top secret super weapons program, the technological miracle that will save us from the Pharaoh Plague if Operation Enduring Victory it's can not, hold though. off the robots long enough. The reason I'm sure you've heard the rumors is that I'm the one who spread them. It must They're be like. All lies. Just a place Zero for people Dawn to... is not a super weapons program. Oh no. And it will not Stranger save things us. Music. Nothing will save us. I can see why Please people might why. be crying. By it's the time the glitch was noticed, it was already too late. Nothing could stop the Pharaoh plague. Nothing can. Uh -oh. Its robots will continue to replicate and devour the biosphere. Life on Earth will be destroyed. Our this is it's casual. It's casual sphere. Friday. Global extinction is inevitable. It's happening. What are no you doing telling me? No matter how many people? we kill, the robots just keep exponentially making more. Well, if we had their deactivation codes, we could shut them all down. The entire swarm. That's great. But Why don't we go find them? graphic protocols use polyphasic entangled waveforms. Cracking a code set would take half a century. Just get Benedict Cumberbatch on the case. He'll crack it in a second. We've got 16 months. Not exactly what you'd call a survival option. The destruction of a biosphere is not the sort of apocalypse you can wait out in a fallout shelter or a space station. Okay. There will be no Earth left to reclaim. Just a lifeless, toxic rock with several million pharaoh robots on it. Well, clearly this didn't happen, so... Waiting for something to eat. This is the horrible truth behind the lies of Operation Enduring Victory. My lies. Lies designed to inspire millions of innocents to sacrifice themselves in battle. Oh my god. Why? One reason. To buy time for you. 
and the work you will do here. This is heavy, Zero Doc. Day. The day that life on Earth ceases to exist is coming fast. Nice. I'm glad you it got branding for it. Stopped. Hope you trademark that. The hope of Zero Dawn is that something new might come after. But I will leave it to Elizabeth Sobek to shine that thin ray of light into the darkness. Harris, out. That's pretty heavy. So, they lied to everybody. They lied to all these soldiers and their families. They lied to people fighting for the resistance that there was some sort of hope. That doesn't make sense. But that's where I'm at right now, what she just said. Didn't cease to Obviously, exist. people he stayed said alive. It could not be stopped. But it was. Somehow, somehow Elizabeth saved us. I've, I've got to keep looking. But Find that Pharaoh stuff, it. that like little red tangleweed that shows that the ro robots are corrupted by the Pharaoh nonsense or whatever, that's still out there. So I feel like, obviously there's still still a small issue that we have to deal with. Don't know if you guys uh, noticed that. Um, This is getting really crazy. I I'm gonna keep going just for a little bit. We're at the normal length um, end, but it's pretty juicy. So try and stop me, mom. I'm gonna just do it anyway. They got in through the vents. Uh oh. Let nothing stop you from learning the truth. Spread out! If it moves, kill it! What is this place? Two? Okay. So now we're getting into some gameplay stuff. So I, I do want to learn more. I want to see more. I don't know how much of this is going to last. Uh, if there's a. Uh, 20 minutes left, or if there's, you know, two hours left. It's hard to tell, but uh, we got some really cool stuff happening here, and pretty mind-blowing stuff. My uh, general assumption, just for posterity, because here we are, it's my first time playing this game, and I, I've never been spoiled on it, is that what Elizabeth did, instead of creating a weapon or a cure or whatever we thought it was, We're is... We're under attack. I'm looking right at her. Sure. Why not? Why don't we just get into this right now? Is that what you want to do, my friend? Okay, apparently... You got some armor on. I understand. I was trying to speak to my audience. I think I'm gonna die, though. Okay, all right, that seems fair enough. Uh, what I was trying to say, though, is that the genetic, uh, maybe it was like a genetic, like a cloning program or a way to sort of freeze, like cryogenics, um, the people from, you know, the past to, uh, you know, sort of freeze genetic code and, and uh, you know, recreate humans as clones maybe in the future. And uh, Elizabeth also made a clone of her cells or her DNA or something. And that is who I am, which is why I'm able to open all her doors and, uh, you know, get all the goodies out of her. Anyway, this is all really interesting. We're gonna uh, complete it soon, I think, and, and that's awesome. Then we can replace this game with another stream game, um, most likely the Ghost of Tsushima, the game that I've been wanting to play for a long time. Um, but I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you're on YouTube and you enjoyed it, giving it a thumbs up is one of the best ways to help me out as a creator as well as subscribing if you want to see more videos. And if you leave a comment, I will definitely get back to it. So thank you guys so much for that. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. And uh, it might be the finale. We'll see.